Hello, it's Carrie, your Tushy Enthusiast, and today I'm gonna to be answering the most frequently asked questions about the Tushy Bidet. So why do you want to use a bidet to wash after pooping versus toilet paper anyway? This is one of the most asked questions ever, and I could make an entire video about this. And in fact, I've made several videos about this. But here's the lowdown. You wash your hands, your face, and the rest of your body with fresh water. Why are you treating your butt any differently? And in fact, your booty hole puts up with all of your shit. Literally, everything that you put in your mouth goes out the other end. And so you should treat it with respect and some fresh water. But here's the problem with toilet paper. When you're using toilet paper, you are wiping, wiping, and then wiping again. And this frequent repetitive motion on your butthole can often cause like thinning and then tears and then irritation of your butthole. And you don't want that. But when you use a bidet to wash your butthole, it actually cleans with a fresh, gentle stream of water, just like how you wash the rest of your body. So yeah, the reason you wanna use a bidet is because it's gentle and it's fresh and it actually cleans. If you got poop on your arm, you just wouldn't wipe it with paper, you would wash it because water cleans. Where does the water come from? Is it dirty water from the tank or bowl? No, we're trying to clean your butt, not make it more dirty. The water that washes your butt is fresh from the wall. It's the same water that you brush your teeth with, you wash your face with, it's the tap water that you drink. And to prove that it's clean, I'm gonna drink from the tushy. The next question is, where does the warm water come from? So as you may or may not know, the Tushy Bidet comes in two models, the Classic and the Spa. And if you have the Spa Tushy Bidet, then you have the option of warm and tap water temperature. And so the warm water actually comes from the warm water line of your sink. And see right here, this is how you're getting the warm water. Does the Tushy Bidet require electricity? No, never. The Tushy Bidet runs purely off the water pressure from the wall, making it even more sustainable because we don't use any electricity and it's just more accessible for those who don't have plugs next to their toilet. And think about this, your sink doesn't ever require electricity, your shower doesn't ever require electricity. This is all just run by hydraulic pressure from the water system. And so that's exactly how our tushy functions. And because we don't use any electricity, it's much more sustainable and accessible for everyone. Can I attach and remove tushy bidets easily? Why, yes, it's called a Tushy Bidet attachment. And so yes, you can install the Tushy Bidet in about 10 minutes. It's super easy, especially if you have the classic version and you can remove the Tushy Bidet even faster because you've already done it before and it's just all the steps in reverse pretty much. I have taken this Tushy from apartment to apartment with ease and so can you. And we've even had people that took their Tushy off at home and installed it in hotel bathrooms. That's how easy it was. <laughs> and if you have questions on how to install or uninstall the Tushy Bidet, don't worry guys, we've got videos on this right here on our YouTube channel. Can Tushy be installed on toilets outside of the US? Why, yes! Tushies are found on toilets all around the world, including Mexico, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and Europe. The thing that I would note is that you might need a different type of adapter to fit your toilet. And so definitely check out the FAQs on our website. It goes into more detail on what type of adapter that you need for whatever country you're in. And also, if you have any further questions and you don't know which one that you need, feel free to email install at hellotushy.com. Does the Tushy Bidet fit elongated bowls? Why, yes! The Tushy Bidet fits both elongated and round toilet bowls. This is an elongated toilet bowl and you can see that it's more of an oval shape. And if you have a round toilet bowl, then it's more of a circular shape. And we actually have a video on this as well, where we teach you how to identify the different types of toilet seats and how to replace your toilet seat. What if your toilet doesn't have easy access to a water supply? Can you still use a tushy? Well, this depends. So if you have a flushometer toilet pictured right here, and you often see these types of toilets in like airports or convention centers, but if you do have one of these, you can connect your tushy to the water supply from your sink. But this also means that your sink needs to be less than nine feet away from your tushy in order for the tube to work. If it is further away, then you can just get like a longer tube and it works just as fine. 
one thing to also note is that you want to make sure that you have the right adapters. And if you have any questions about this, please email install at hellotushy.com and we'll make sure you have the right tubes and the right adapters to make it all work. Aren't wet wipes just as good as a bidet when it comes to cleaning your butt? Wet wipes are easy to use and they're overly accessible and there's like a million different kinds. However, it's not actually good for your butt. What the manufacturers of wet wipes don't tell you is that chronic use of wet wipes can lead to skin breakdown, increased sensitivity, irritation, cracking, and even anal fissures. And this can also lead to anal warts for those who are HPV positive. So yikes, you do not want that. And another thing is, for those of you who use wet wipes, you probably clean up with a wet wipe and then you pull up your pants and then go on with your day. What you don't know is that the moisture that is left from the wet wipes that is just on your butthole is actually a perfect petri dish for bacteria that then just build up and that's what causes some of these outbreaks. And last thing, wet wipes are awful for the environment and awful for your plumbing and also public sewage systems. So, you know, just ditch the wet wipes and get yourself a bidet. Can I use the bidet to wash my vulva? Of course, this is another huge benefit of having the bidet. Not only can you wash your butthole with it, but you can totally wash your vulva. And there's two ways you can do this. You can either adjust the nozzle right here, which adjusts the angle, or you can just tilt your butt back and wash your vulva that way. And some people also have the secondary question, well, will I be getting poopy bits in my vulva? No. So the way that the tushy water works is that it comes out in an arch and it basically kind of works as like a reverse waterfall pulling the dirt right down and so anything dirty that you wash with the tushy it actually falls right back down into the toilet and what's hitting you is just fresh water in fact washing with a bidet can help you prevent utis and yeast infections and if you don't listen to me listen to our doctor friend any trivial amount of bacteria that the urethra is exposed to as a result of using a bidet is far outweighed by the improved hygiene you have by using the bidet in the first place, AKA wash with the bidet. And if you wanna learn more about using the tushy for sexual health before and after sex, check out our video. If you are interested in learning more about the Tushy Bidet or any of our other Tushy products like the Tushy Ottoman here that gives you the best pooping posture, please visit hellotushy.com forward slash vlog. And there's like tons of info on the website or you can check out some of the videos that I mentioned in this video and that are also recommended at the end of this one. And also thank you so much for being here on this channel. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe because every single week we post videos on butt health, gut health, poop health, bathroom sustainability, and of course, all things tushy. And we'd love to have you here. And lastly, before I sign off for today, I'd love to invite you to join our community hosted on Facebook groups. It's called the Tushy Movement, gut feelings, bidet life, and butt stuff. And this is a place where we've come together from, with people from all around the world to discuss things that you can't really talk about most other places, like your poop health, gut health, and butts, and lots of toilet humor and of course bathroom sustainability and everything in between the cheeks and we would love to have you in this community it's super fun and it's a breath of fresh air compared to the other things that you see on the internet these days anyways thank you so much for watching this video and i hope you have a great day and happy pooping